Hey, I got my own personal trainer. Ah. <laughs> It's your girl Hunter Harley girl. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Ooh, I almost let that clutch out too soon. <laughs> but yes, y'all, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my motorcycle content. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page at Honda Harley Girl, same name, Honda Harley Girl on Facebook, Honda Harley Girl on Instagram. Check me out and follow me. Oh, there we go. I love when the light turns green. I ain't got to stop. Whoa, let's go. So right now I am on the way to an event, to really like a class. I'm on the way to a class. I'm running late. I gotta do better. I feel like they told us 9.30 and it's really gonna start at 10. But still, you need to be there when they tell you to be there. So yeah, I'm on the way there. I'm gonna be about 15 minutes late. Going to the Big Easy Casino with Miami Hog Chapter to do a skills lesson. What do you call it? Let me get it right. I wanna get it right. It's called Sharp Skills Practice. Yes, right there. I'm going to sharpen my skills. So skills practice Saturday, April 17th, 2021. Thunder drill team. Sharpen your skills. Reserve your spot 9.30 a.m. at the Big Easy Casino in Hollandale, Florida. So that's where I'm going. I'm coming from North Miami, going up to Hollandale, which is a straight shot off of Biscayne, but I took the fastest route today because I'm late. But we're gonna get there. This helmet is when I'm wearing braids and in the summer all I do is wear braids because it's so hot I don't have braids in right now. So this helmet is just way too big I'm gonna give me a new helmet like ASAP. I want one where I can pull up in the front But I need it to be GoPro friendly Assess I don't know that word can't think of it. Can't see it right now. It needs to be able to hold my GoPro. There we go. I need a helmet that's going to be able to hold my GoPro. GoPro. My GoPro. GoPro. Hey. Woo! I remember right about up in this area. I had lane split some traffic coming up to this light. Yo, I knocked the man mirror. Man. Man, I'm sorry for that. I ain't mean to do that. But you know what happened? I had got scared. You gotta just do it. You cannot be timid. You can't slow down. You go lane split, lane split, and get on through. Man, I got scared and um, I slowed down. Bloop! Hit that man mirror. I look back. I said, sorry. <laughs> it kept it pushing. I mean, what could I have done? I hope it didn't break. I have no clue. Hope he not out here looking for me. Like, I'm gonna find that on that bike who knocked my mirror but i don't think it broke but it did twist this mirror right here i hit him with this mirror it twist this mirror all the way in i said oh she come on y'all everybody moving slow this morning oh y'all know i'm late get out the way let's go Woo! feels good got my quarter sleeve on oh my hair is flying a little bit i don't want that i don't want to get nappy okay 10 minutes away. All right, I'm not gonna record all 10 minutes, so I'm gonna click off and click back on when I'm pulling over. Let's ride. Okay, so I was not expecting to take the interstate, but whatever. I am on my way. That bird looked like a drum just now. Woo, this is a beautiful sunny day. That's for sure. Almost there, two minutes away. Oh, that was it. That was it. Nope. Let's see. It is the 17th, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> apparently I can't get my dates together. Oh, I found 
dum. Bingo. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Yes, Lordy. I see everybody is turned around, so I'm gonna turn around too. Hey, guys. All right, let's go. I want to work on um, U-turns. I want to make a, a okay. tight U-turn. Okay, okay. Are you familiar with your friction zone on your clutch? Um, I believe I... How, I how good are you at slow ride? I say okay. Oh. I try to practice on my own. Slow ride <laughs> down first before you can get your U-turns down. You right. Know what I mean? Yes, sir. Because you should be able to... Basically, what I want you to, what I want, want you to do, we're going to go like from here, maybe just up to... I'll walk along with you, but I should be able to walk along with you at a certain pace. And what you're going to want to do when you start bike up, you're going to, you know, of course, you be first gear and everything. You're going to let the clutch out until it just starts pulling. And you're going to give it just a little bit of gas. But you want to let the clutch out of the way, but you want to just start pulling. You want to get used to your friction zone. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm going to walk along with you. You want to get used to that. I mean, we'll, you might have to do it a couple of times. You might be real good at first. I don't know, but, you know, we'll, let's just start. Okay. Let's place where we start at. All right, so, let's do it. You know what I'm talking about, your friction zone, right? Right. How is your clutch? Anyway, let me just say something. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's pretty good. It's, I, want you to, I want you to let it out enough where you can be rolling and have your feet up. up on the mm -hmm. Got it. I'm getting all he's saying very 
information. Woo. Hey, I got my own personal trainer. Ah. <laughs> Check out these guys over there doing little S moves. All right. On the ground. <laughs> and like I said, if it gets to the point where you think you might be kind of like going down or something like that, your best thing to do is to actually give it a little gas and straighten up. Mm -hmm. Last thing you want to do is stick your foot out. Okay. Because that's what that engine guard is for. Okay. Technically, if, if I'm going, if I'm going to fall, I'm not going to try to do anything that's going to make you fall. We're not going to go that far, Dave. So if I'm, if, if technically, if I'm going to fall, really, I want my feet on the bike. Because okay. guess what? I'm being protected. Got it. I got my foot out here. This is 800 pounds. Your bike's probably about 600 pounds. I don't know about you, but my leg ain't doing too good with 600 pounds. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's good. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna slow ride around a little bit. We're gonna do a couple of turns, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna see what you're doing. I want you to follow me first. See how mm -hmm. much you can follow me. Then I'm gonna get off and see what you're doing. And try to correct that. And we're going to get to the. We're going to before you leave out of here. I plan on having you do, you know, practicing on your turn. Okay, got it. So let's do that. So cool. I'm getting like this one-on-one -on -one training. <sighs> Slow roll. He say follow him. I think. Yeah, he did. Try not to use the clutch. I mean the front brake. So use the back brake when you're making these slow turns. Don't look at the ground and look where you're going. Hey. Okay. What's up? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Look to where you want to go. I don't know if he's stopping. Right. I'm going to see. We're going to. Because generally when you do a U turn, I'm going to practice with you right over here. What I want you to practice is you're going to come along. Okay. You're doing nice. good though so far. Thank you. I think your, your biggest thing coming in here was that down front brake. Right? You're right, because I thought you were supposed to use it. <laughs> yep, I was using that. That is good. I was doing the U-turns. I wasn't doing them as tight as I could, but you were following me through them. I'm like, okay, you know. And the main thing, like the, also like I was telling you, you want to keep your... Hey y'all, so I'm going to break this skill practice into a series. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss part two. Also, don't forget the major key learned today, which is do not use your front brake while going 10 miles and under. Come to Harley Girl, out.